Hey guys, I very recently got the Y Wheel W6, and since I already have the Nano Robot D6 Plus, and next to me is Monkey, which is a expert electric scooter rider, I saw what a good idea it would be to just compare these two, right? Yeah, man. They're roughly about the same price, right? What is like, a, this is a hundred dollars cheaper, right? Yeah, I think it's about a hundred dollars cheaper. Okay, and somewhere the, around there. There are some differences that we're gonna be talking about in just a minute, but first, let's go for a ride. Let's do this. The world is spinning. Right, guys, so we that was we, fun. Yeah, that was fun, man. We, we arrived for quite a while. Both scooters, we've been jumping around. I take one, he takes the other one, swapping uh, scooters. And I gotta say, I'm an intermediate level, I'm not an expert, I'm not that of a beginner. Uh, and I say, I have quite a lot of fun with both these scooters. I feel like the white wheel, the acceleration, generally speaking, feels a little bit more intuitive, especially for someone at my level. The brakes are definitely better. There is no comparison there. I yeah, think, it's got the hydraulic yeah. brakes on the back, so they're a little bit better and more responsive. I, I wouldn't say a little, I, I would say a lot. Yeah. They, they feel a lot better. Uh, the deck is a lot shorter, and yes, you can it tell is. it immediately when you're standing there, but it's not like it's uncomfortable, but you can you can feel a huge difference when you jump from one to the other. It changes right? the balance point quite a bit. We have wider wheels, but smaller, right, in diameter. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't feel any difference from one to another, to be no, honest. No, I didn't think so either. The one thing that I did feel a difference is the, the stem. On the D6 Plus, it's kind of like, it feels like it's not that stable, yeah. like it wobbles a little. But on the Y wheel, it's a lot stronger, it's a lot more firm. Um, so I could not go full speed, like top speed on either of these two, and I'm scared. But we, thankfully, we have Monkey here that he does go full speed on both of them. Yeah, I, I took the wide wheel, third gear, dual wheel drive, turbo on and hit it full range, top capacity, as fast as it could go for as long as I could go with the roads permitting. And I definitely feel that I topped it out. I wasn't looking at the speedometer because uh, with my helmet on, my vision is a little bit obscured, but I definitely had it at its top speed and capacity. Now going around turns and these bends and stuff like that, it, uh, You apologize for the noise, there is some people walking by yeah, the road. Yeah. So uh, going at full speed, around these turns, it gets a little bit of a wobble. Um, I think that's just the suspension variation between the D6 and the wide wheel. I'm a little more familiar with the D6 as I ride that one quite often. Yeah, that too, the suspension is a big difference too, yeah, the right? The D6 is a very Plus big is, difference. You have much better suspension. And the D6 Plus has a little bit softer suspension. The wide wheel suspension is a little bit stiffer, but I think that adds to the stability and the handling quite a bit. I feel like also the, 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 a little bit of stiffer suspension on the Y wheel makes it better for the city, right? Yeah, I think it does. I think it does, man. Yeah, I, it will definitely handle some off-road, but I feel like the D6 Plus is more off-road than the, than the Y wheel, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think the, the wide wheel is a little more city and off-road. Like it can handle off-road, but it's definitely not built for it. I think the D6 Plus, is more aimed at off-road than city riding, but it'll definitely handle both. I think the wide wheel is very, very compatible for someone that wants to cruise around the city and maybe go hit the trails a little bit. Okay, let's say you have $1,300. You can buy the Nanrobot D6 Plus or the wide wheel and a really nice helmet. Which one will you go for? That's a tough choice, man. It's a, a tough choice. choice. <laughs> it is a tough choice. I think I, I, I go first. I go for the wide wheel. I don't really do off-road, and I seen the non robot it, it was faster, right, on the top speed? It is quite faster. I don't even know, because I can't, I can't really handle that, that much speed, so I, I feel like the wide wheel, for me, is, is good. I mean, 
this guy is is a psycho. I mean, he can ride very fast, <laughs> uh, really, really fast. I mean, if you are more normal, I would say the white wheel will give you all that excitement for sure. Oh, the, both of them are both They're definitely both very fast. exciting. They're both I mean, exciting and very fast. You need scooters. to be at the level of this guy to be able to go full speed on the on the D6 Plus. I want to start working on some wheelies on the wide wheel. I think that'll be fun. Oh yeah, how about the wheelies? I saw you popping some wheelies and, and stuff. Like, yeah, stuff like, like it, it's a short wheelbase, so it's a little bit difficult to get used to because I'm used to riding the D6 Plus. So the, the balance point is quite a bit different. But um, I don't know about riding a wheelie, but I could pop it up and get it back down very easily. The short wheelbase makes it very easy to pull up, which sure. is quite Which one will you buy? I think for fun around the city, definitely the wide wheel. But for off-road, the, flip of the a D6. Coin for you, right? Yeah, it's a flip of the coin. It depends <laughs> yeah, yeah. on what you want to do. Good. They're both if good. If you want to go off-road, get the D6. If you want to cruise around the city, get the wide wheel. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, we'll see you on the next one.